thing is that that is their body cavity. Oh. Well, the inside of that staircase is oh. oh. the um, The inside round part is their and then Seriously, you can't get enough of this, right? I still can't believe that Thousand Trails. That was hardcore crazy. Couldn't believe how bad it was. I mean... Lily, are you ready to get up finally? Huh? What? You've been sleeping in all morning. You wanna go for a ride? Come on, let's go. Let's go, mama. Oh, yeah, stretch it. I'll get you right there. She loves it to be scratched right there under her arms. What? Just waiting in on me now? Huh? Huh? Oh, yeah. Oh. Yes. Is this an upward down dog? <laughs> it is. Go get you some water. Go get you some water. Go hydrate. Go hydrate. It's morning. Go hydrate. No. Get you some water. You looking for food? Well, good morning there, Story Chasers. It's a beautiful morning, a bit cloudy, but beautiful. And how about that sunrise behind me? We had a pretty uneventful night. It was pretty quiet over here. Beautiful, it was nice and cool. It's actually chilly feeling right now. Uh, here in it, it's 67 degrees, that's amazing. It hasn't been 67 degrees in a long time. It's not too humid this morning, unless I just suddenly acclimated really quickly. <laughs> <laughs> which I doubt happened. Kind of sucks here I am leaving on the days that it's nice and cool. Oh well. Mm, it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful sunrise. Look at that. Loving it. In 800 feet, turn right toward Maloney Avenue. Let's look how packed this place is. These are all tent sites to the right. This is a reason why I don't usually like private campgrounds because of this. It's just so packed in here. Despite all of that, the people here have been amazing, the staff, the even the guests. I haven't had any issues. Like everybody's just happy, which is nice. Happy, happy, we like that. So this little food truck is right over here in the Boyd's campground. It's Cuban cuisine, they say. And my first time that I've actually been over here. Hi. Can I get a medium cafe con leche with two sugars? You want it um, strong, not strong, or regular? Uh, regular. Okay. Are you doing like a video for when you get home? I have a YouTube channel. Oh, you do? I travel a lot. Thanks for coming. Yeah, thank you. Have you had our coffee before? No, this is my first time. Get ready to fly. <laughs> <laughs> What's the name of your YouTube channel? Story Chasing. Bye. Keep chasing stars. <laughs> Thanks. Stars. It's like a little sad I'm leaving right now. You know what it is? it is? I don't think I really expressed it very well before. Even at the campground, there's this really cool kind of camaraderie and feeling of community here. Even with all the tourists and stuff, it's just a neat place. And yeah, everybody's just laid back and chill. I mean, it is Key West. Come on. <laughs> Maybe that's why Jimmy Buffett sang about it so much. He and his Margaritaville. And by the way, when I downloaded Jimmy Buffett's Best Of uh, album, I, can't, I still say album. Do you guys do that? I still say album. <laughs> Tells you how old I am, doesn't it? Anyways, when I downloaded that, I didn't realize how much he actually sang about food all the time. Like seriously, cheeseburger in paradise. Uh, I can't even think. Margaritaville. I mean, every single song I feel like has something to do with food. It's kind of funny. Just wanted to show you guys that's where we were actually parked out over there at the campground. That's Boyd's over there, and I'm just on the other side of the freeway. What a beautiful, serene day out here. Oh, I love that the view with the sun and the boats. Just really feels so, so good out here. Oh, it's not even humid right now. Why am I leaving today? I should have stayed. <laughs> Right now we're on seven mile bridge over in the Keys and I'm testing it to see if it really is seven miles. It says 5.3 miles right now and I started at about 0.3 into it. So I think it is seven miles. Oh, I don't know, we've got a key coming up right here. Okay, we're at 6.2 miles. We're almost hitting land now. We'll wait till the official bridge is done. Okay, officially 6.6, .6 and I said I started it about 0.3 into it, so yeah, seven miles. 
This is Mary. Mary's yes. gonna be our tour guide. Yep, to the 9.30. There we go, not too tight, right? All right, so as you saw, we're over here at the Turtle Hospital or the Sea Turtle Center. And one of the reasons why I came over here is because it's just a huge educational moment for the sea turtle who is out here and really prevalent in the Keys and about how passionate they are about rescuing these sea turtles and rehabbing them and then actually releasing them. So can't wait to find out more and we get to see some sea turtles in real life because I still haven't seen any out here. I'm absolutely an animal rescue activist. I love animals. I give to different animal shelters and places who rescue animals and rehab them. So I just thought it'd be fun to come over here and see what they do with sea turtles. I'm usually giving to like places that rescue and help dogs and cats. So this will be different for me. All right, we're about to go in. Mary was so kind to kind of tell me what we're gonna be doing so I can make sure I get the best footage for you guys. So you can see their skin patterns. And the scoops are these scales on top of the bone there that are fit together much like a puzzle. And those are made of keratin, get up to about 2,000 pounds. So it's like literally a ton of turtle guys. Just to give you an idea of how big, there's a cast of a shell here behind me. And when that was on a turtle, it was about 600 pounds. So three times that big plus some chunk change, these guys are truly like the dinosaurs of the sea. And at top speeds, whenever they're darting, for whatever reason, they can be at about 30 miles an hour. So they're very hydrodynamic because of the grooves in their shells. And you can see on the screen those really big flippers that's going to help propel them through the water. Some of these effects on the turtles in the wild be a little more negative than positive, but it might seem a little sad sometimes, but it's really important that we know. So one big thing is going to be marine debris. That's going to be trash and litter making its way into the oceans. So we try to use um, other things instead of the plastic bags because these turtles like to eat jellyfish. And if this is floating in the water, it might accidentally look like a jellyfish. The turtle might not know better. So um, paper bags as well as reusable bags are a good idea. Uh, we are looking at tumors, and this is from a virus that is naturally in the ocean. We call this this fibropapillomavirus. A lot of people don't realize this is out there until they make it to the turtle hospital. And we do have a lot of patients here that are recovering. They're under rehabilitation, and we're going to meet them in all different stages. All right, guys, so come on up to our hurricane tank enclosures. So y'all can stand anywhere you want. There's one big loggerhead in each big tank. So oh my goodness. I'm gonna talk about all of them and everything about Aww, this. Aw, little baby. All right, so we do filter it on the way in and after these pump dumps are behind me. And whenever we drain this tank, we're gonna filter it on the way out. Reason being is that that is her body cavity. On the inside of that carapace, the shell, as we call those for time. Um, the inside round part is the rib cage, and then they find it's not just your entertainer. It really does not take a whole lot of an entertaining turtle, guys, to be honest with you. Yeah, they're pretty leisurely. You touch your fingernail and you feel that. You can mostly feel it. That's probably what the doctor would tell you. Oh, okay. oh my goodness. All right, in the deep, the green sea turtles don't seem to mind each other. They get along okay. And the Kemp Ridley's seem to get along okay. In the late 80s, a lot of the kids started saying, Mr. Richie, where are all the turtles? And we believe that could be because the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles got super popular in the 80s and they were all wondering where's Leonardo, you know. I mean that mm -hmm. is a land turtle but that's besides the point. Mr. Ritchie did look into this and he found that you cannot have a healthy turtle in captivity. They are endangered, they are protected, they do belong in the wild. On our left are primarily this fibropapilloma patient, okay. And, um, and in the back right, that's one of our new turtles. I'll tell you about him as well. He's also an SP patient. Come on in. Welcome to the Turtle ICU unit. If you see that a tank is low, that's because we want these guys to take it easy. They are recovering. Okay, so that way they don't have to swim to the top of their tank to take that breath of air. They can just lift their little head and get that breath of air without having to put too much in. Okay, number 400 there, he has a little circle on his shell. He was probably hit against a rock on, um, from the tides being pushing him around, okay? So that's there to keep that bad bacteria out, the good bacteria in, so he'll heal. Walk down here to turtles, we're going to follow 
Now you're walking around, you want to stay on the man. The life here at the Feral Hospital. We love them too much to let them go. We love them all, but these guys are our permanent residents. And then once everybody has Feral Tail, you'll be able to roam around and go back over there if you want. But I'm just keeping us in this condo line so I can have all the cowies here. Throw one or two okay. at a time. You can throw it all. I was just saying it'd be over really fast. Like an hour and getting a chance. And we're about to be tired. It looks like you might have learned that we don't have any weights on the meal. Hi. <laughs> Did you see that? Oh my God. And that turtle over there is small. I can tell because it looks like he has that battle on the back of his stuff. And he was small when he got here. Don't let that baby fool you. Very important. Little turtle food. Big you have a question right here. Let's make your Lily. <laughs> what you doing, girl? Hi, baby. Hi. Did you miss Mama? Did you miss me? Oh, you gonna sniff it? That was absolutely incredible. And I want to thank Mary, who actually guided us around and showed us all of the sea turtles and gave us all of the education about one how to prevent sea turtle issues, striking them in boats or you know trash, all of that kind of stuff. It's so important to pick up trash even if it's not yours pick it up i do that everywhere i go blm land national forest land just around places that i'm at even at the cracker barrel i was staying at the other night there's like a ton of trash everywhere i pick it up granted i know there's not sea turtles over there but my point is pick up the trash it's horrible for us it's horrible for our environment it's horrible for animals birds all of it so pick up trash and don't litter I got some really cool little things. I got this beautiful sticker. So anything that you buy from them helps support the hospital, the rescues, all of that. You can even adopt a turtle. It's really, really cool. So I'm gonna go online and check that out. I got that sticker and I also got this cool little shirt. And on the back, it's also got the hospital information on it. That was so much fun. I just had such a good time. You know me, I love animals. I'm an empath. I even teared up whenever they were talking about the shark attack how they've lost a fin here or there they can actually go out into the water and be released back even if they have a fin missing kind of like you know a dog or a cat whenever they lose a limb they can just adapt so they can adapt too now if they have less than that i think two and a half is what she said they need in order to be released back into the wild but if they are not able to do that, that's where they actually stay there, inside that last enclosure that we saw where we were feeding them. They're lifers there. But it's so good that they have something like this, you know, where these poor little turtles can stay for the rest of their life and, you know, get what they need or be rescued and get the medical attention that they need to be released back into the wild. It's super incredible, so I really appreciate everybody who does that. How do you like my new hat? I like it. Salt life. And look under it. Super cute. <laughs> Seriously, you can't get enough of this, right? Decked her out with some jewelry up there, some lights. Oh, she's a beauty. Come here, Lily, come here. And a little place for people to, I guess, eat around here. Oh, yeah. These 
little grainy. Oh, I love her wrinkles too. Do you see her wrinkles? <laughs> Looks like elephant legs. <laughs> the wrinkles on her. I love that uh, Google rerouted me to go on old US Highway 1 instead of the main US 1, which is over here to the left of us because there's so much traffic congestion, but we get to go on a little more beautiful ride through this whole area. We get to see kind of the back areas. I love the uh, dolphin mailboxes. <laughs> Wait, which is what's this one? Oh, that's just a plain green one. Come on now, get with it. Oh, no, nope, here's one. Oh, I think it's a manatee. Let's see. Yep, it's a manatee mailbox. Look at that. Manatee. <laughs> Lily, you gonna get that manatee? We are leaving the Keys. It's official. This is the uh, bridge to get back onto the mainland area. Ooh, I'm sad. I'm gonna miss it. It's amazing here. I'm always thinking about like, oh, if I wanna settle down at some point, settle down, you know, use that word loosely, buy a house. If I wanna buy a house sometime, and um, or just some land or something like that and set up somewhere where I'm more stationary. I always think about like where that would be and all the places that I've traveled, what would I do? And uh, this place is super cool. Like I would consider this place, but the hurricanes freak me out. And I know that that's prevalent around here. I mean, everybody, every place has its things, you know, the West Coast has earthquakes and forest fires now all the time. They have hurricanes and tropical storms out here. You know, the east coast, uh, northeast side, they've got the snow and the cold. In the central plain areas, uh, down even towards Texas, there's tornadoes. Every place has its thing. So, you gotta take the good with the bad, right? Not on the uh, scenic byway right now. <laughs> Look at that city. This is, uh, I don't know, what am I on, 95 North? headed towards Fort Lauderdale, that must be Fort Lauderdale. Well, so this is interesting. I pulled up to the Thousand Trails over here um, in Pompano Beach, and it says closed Monday through Friday, and today is Saturday. They had this out there telling me where I need to go, so I need to figure this out. I've never had that happen before. Well, guys, we made it over here to Cracker Barrel in Palm Beach. <laughs> Drove quite a ways today, oh my gosh. I didn't get here till after six, I can't even remember. Maybe it was like close to seven when I got here and I left the park in Key West at eight. Just been a really long day. I still can't believe that Thousand Trails. That was hardcore crazy, couldn't believe how bad it was. I mean, for me to actually just leave the place and cancel my whole reservation, that should tell you something. I, I've seen a lot and that was that was bad really bad they should really be ashamed of themselves to actually charge people to stay there no so you guys know I'm like usually positive but when I see something that's seriously wrong like that I'm gonna like say something about it that's just crazy so another story another moment that we've created today the sea turtle rescue and hospital and rehabilitation was phenomenal I couldn't believe how amazing it was and I'm just so happy that I got to do it Key West was fabulous I really really enjoyed it and um, I feel like I was on a vacation you know uh, and I'm tired from that vacation <laughs> So, um, I have driven a lot in order to get to Key West and make that reservation and that is why, again, I don't plan because that was just too much and I'm, quite frankly, exhausted from all the traveling. So I know, wah, wah, cry me a river, but it's just it's too much for me. I don't like traveling that much. I like to really take my time and see stuff along the way and I did get to see a lot, but it has been a whirlwind. So. I'm hoping that I can slow down. I have no reservations anywhere. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me on this journey today. I hope that you're also out there fulfilling your dreams and creating your stories and your moments in your life. If you're not out there doing that, why aren't you? Especially after all of the videos, <laughs> if you've watched every video that I've talked about this. 
what is your plan? Are you putting a plan together? I think about this a lot. Like sometimes people stay in the same spot because they're afraid of change. They're afraid of taking a chance, taking a risk. And I would say to that person, what's the worst thing that could possibly happen? So think about that. What is the worst thing that could happen if you take the risk? And write that down. And then lastly, think about what is the best thing that can happen if you tried that? And write that down too. I bet you anything you could probably mitigate the things that could be bad, but the things that would be amazing and great and the best scenario for you if you were able to take that risk and live your dreams, that's where the magic happens. That's where life gets really, really sweet. Your greatest reward is on the other side of your fear. And what that means is if you can get on that thing that you're fearful of, fear is not always bad. Fear is kind of a gut check. It's a, let me really think about this and figure things out before I, I do this. Sometimes fear can be irrational and sometimes it can be rational. So give yourself that gut check and figure out where is that fear coming from and write that down too. I think you're gonna find out a lot about yourself and about your dreams when you take those things into consideration. I'm gonna leave you with that. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey today. I love you guys so much. You have just literally lit up my entire month with all of your comments and apparently Lily, you guys want more of Lily. They wanna see more of you. Come here, girl, come, come. She's just down here eating. Come here, there's Lily. Say hi. Say hi to all your loyal fans. They love you, girl. I just came out with a video today when we were in the dog park in Destin and apparently everybody loved it and loved Lily and she just makes your day and I'm really happy about that. I am. She makes my day too every day. I love this girl. We'll see you in tomorrow's video. All right guys, love you. Good night. Say good night Lily. Good night. She's not blowing kisses.